Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to download a genuine and a legal copy of Primavera P6. I have seen a lot of people struggling online to find a copy of Primavera P6 and I have seen a lot of people asking for cracks and patches, which is illegal way to use any software. So today I'm going to show you how you can download your copy of Primavera P6, a legal and a genuine copy which you can use for yourself with some conditions. The great thing is that the Primavera P6 copy which you are going to download is not a trial version. It's going to continue as long as you use it and you can use it for your personal purposes and for learning and practicing Primavera P6. So let's start. First of all you will need an email ID because we need to create an online account and you will also need a good internet connection in order to download the file. So when you have the email ID ready and a good internet connection, just open any internet browser. I'm using Chrome and in the address bar type edelivery.oracle.com and press enter. I'm going to mention the website also in the description so you can find it there. Once you have opened this website, you will see the Oracle Software Delivery Cloud website and we need to create an account here before we can proceed. So in order to create an account, go to the new user register here and click on it. Fill in your email address and create a password. Remember the password must have uppercase and lowercase letters as it has been mentioned here. So meet the password conditions and create a password for yourself. Enter the name of the country where you live, your first name, your last name, your job title and your mobile phone. It will also ask you your company address and the company name. If you don't work in any company, you can just put any name there or you can put the name of the institution or the college or the university where you are studying. So once you complete this form, just click on create account option. Since I already have created my account for myself, I'm not going to fill in the details here again. Once you have created your account, it will send you an email where you have to verify your email and once you are done with the verification, you are good to go and sign in. Go back to the same page edelivery.oracle.com and now instead of registering as a new user just go to the sign in option here enter your username which is same as your email id and then enter your password once you have signed in you can see this first page the first screen of the oracle cloud website here we can download in order to download we need to first select what we want to download we can filter products by programs by the operating systems once you are here on this page just type primavera and you will find a list of products coming up for Primavera. We need to download the Primavera P6 application EPPM. So we will go to the last option here. Primavera P6 Enterprise Project Portfolio Management P6 EPPM Primavera Applications. Click on it. And once it's selected here in blue, just select the platform. Whether you are using Windows or Linux. So I'll select Microsoft Windows. Click Select and then I'll click continue. After this you will see this screen where it shows that Primavera P6 Enterprise Project Portfolio Management 16.2.0 for Microsoft Windows. So it's the latest version of Primavera P6. The application size is 1.9 giga and the last published date, the last update for this is 30th September 2016 and it also says that it has six files. If you want to download the latest version of Primavera, you can just go ahead and click continue here. Otherwise, if you want to download some early uh, version of the Primavera P6, you can select here, select alternate release. And it gives us the option to download Primavera 15.2 also. So the last two releases are available online, but we'll go ahead with the latest one, 16.2, and then click continue here. Once you select continue, you will see this pop-up window saying Oracle standard terms and restrictions, the restrictions that are applicable for the use of this software which we are going to download. Once you read them, select I have reviewed and accepted the terms of commercial license, special programs license or trial license and click continue. After you click continue, it will give you the list of the files that are present here which we are going to download. Since there are a total of six files, First ones are documentation, P6 tools, there's professional P6 EPPM R2 and there's click one. The one we are going to download is the P6 professional 
EPPM 16 release 2. Other files we don't need. If you want documentation, you can download it. We don't need basic tools. We don't need this one. So you can see here, I have just selected the file v789753.zip from a p 6 professional for EPPM. And I'll click download. Before downloading this file, after you accept the terms and conditions, you might sometimes get an email which says that your validation for export is pending and you might have to wait for a few hours before you can download this file. So that's normal, don't worry about that if you get a message like this that your validation is pending. After a few hours or within 24 hours, you will get another message in your email which says that you can now download and your validation check is clear. So you will reach this pop-up window after your validation check is clear. You will again sign in and go follow the same procedure as I have shown you, accept the terms and conditions and then you will reach to this pop window. Here you will select the Primavera P6 Professional for EPPM 16 release 2, file number is v 789 75301.zip and click download. Once you click download, it will ask you for the location where you want to save the file. You can save it anywhere. I would like to save it on my desktop or anywhere or anywhere else. So click save after you select the location for saving the file. And depending upon the internet connection, it will take some time to download the file. So this is how you can get a genuine and a legal copy of Primavera P6, an evaluation version without any end date in trial to practice and use Primavera at personal purpose, for personal purposes. Thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe to Construction Techie for more such videos and tips. In my coming video, I am going to show you how to install Primavera P6 after we have downloaded it.